Hey. Hey. Hey, oh. hey, hey. hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where's it at? I'm waiting for you, man. Nah. You want to lead the way. I learned my lesson from season two when I tried to do it and I fucked it all up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm letting V do her thing. Oh, Lord. Hey, 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 guys. We're drunk with friends. We're here for our <laughs> drunk shorts. Our second drunk shorts, shorts of the season. Yep. Season three, drunk shorts numero dos. Yep. And we're here, if you haven't been on drunk, our first drunk shorts, we just talk about one or two topics real quick, yep. take a couple shots, when we get in one at the end, we have a debate, or we be on each other's side, and we just get things out in the air, just in case you didn't know what was happening. Alright, yeah, what's, so, go ahead. What did you have to say? Oh, now it's like, yeah, short and sweet, um, I got a topic. Okay, you want to take a shot first? Hey, just take a shot first, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, we recorded earlier, we've been drinking, we've been drinking. Cheers, guys. Again. Cheers. Ah, did we introduce ourselves? I think yes. we did. My bad. No more drinks for me. Um, yeah, so I got a topic. <laughs> okay. A little bit controversial. Okay. I don't know how you're going to feel about this. Let's hear it. All right. So, comedian Jess Hilarious from Baltimore. Shout out to Jess. Um, she's going viral today because of a statement that she made, which is per usual with her. Yeah. But um much. I wanna get you guys opinion. I wanna get your opinion. Dude. Okay, I'm listening. Alright, you ready? I'm listening. Ladies, we are the most contradicting species in the world. I'ma just call it how I say it. We definitely fucked up in the head. Cause we get mad, man. I'm talking about our whole world comes to an end when we find out a nigga cheating on us, but the whole time yeah, we cheating too. Matter of fact, we cheated first. So really the nigga don't need no he cheating back. See, the difference is we know how to do it and don't get caught. Now, listen, it's completely natural for women to go through their man's phone. That's how 90% of y'all niggas get caught. It's not natural for a man to go through his woman's phone. That's why we could be laying right next to you texting another nigga. As long as we lean over every 30 seconds and give you a little mwah, mwah you'll never suspect anything. Ladies, we get so upset because we're natural competitors. We think whoever this nigga cheating on us with, he may somehow leave us for them. Which is not the case most of the time because niggas don't catch feelings like we do. But, ladies, we think that way because we're doing the same thing. Every time you get mad at your boyfriend, you planning out the rest of your future with the nigga you cheating with. <laughs> Ladies, we are the most <laughs> Ladies, we are the oh. <laughs> wow. So V, back in your play of play days, not not your relationship now, because we know you're devoted. Um Wow. Is, is this this true? Is this how women think? No. No. No, I, I honestly I think that they may be talking or maybe um, I don't think it's always on the grand scale of cheating okay. first. It could be leave, like they, they flirt with like an ex or they have contact with the ex. They, right. It's like their their conscience, their guilty conscience is getting back to them. So they'll feel like, oh, since they're still in contact with this person or because they went out happy hour with this person, even though it could have been platonic, it's their own guilt that eats at them. So then when they see their boyfriend doing something, they're like, Oh shit, what he doing? Oh, he better not we, we go Fact. to the extreme in our head when yeah. it's probably not even as deep as what it is. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not saying that it ain't. Sometimes niggas do be out here cheating. But Fact. I feel like that from a, a woman's uh, point of view, it's kind of sort of like, I don't think it's we cheated first. I don't. It's real rare that you hear that the woman cheats first. Not saying it doesn't happen, but it's yeah. really rare that... You hear that the woman has physically cheated first. Now we're not going into the whole deep topic of you know emotionally cheated, right, 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 or whatever right. like that. But physically cheat, you know, it yeah. takes a lot for women. It takes to a get woman there. to actually physically cheat. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's probably why I like guys it hurt more because oh you like like this nigga <laughs> exactly that's like, why they get built up a bit all been out of shape. It's like yo, you took me through the winger for this that and the third, yeah. and you just with this nigga out of nowhere. It's never out of nowhere. There was time to get uh, to the point for them to actually drop them draws. <laughs> drop yeah. them draws. I mean, and then, you know, of course, there are those rare cases where it's like, yo, he don't love me. He don't care about me. And they get vulnerable and it happens. Right. You know, it don't take a lot. It just, it took a lot. Okay, here it is. It didn't take a lot for the individual to probably pursue her. Right. But it took a lot of your bullshit that she got to the point where she don't give a fuck anymore. So she decides to cheat. Mm. And that's on the cases that I said that the woman cheat first. Okay. So people always think like, oh, he must have, you know, she he must have neglected her or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or he, it's always one or the other. It's either the side guy or the guy I've been pressing her out so much that right. she finally like, you know, crumbled to let it go. But no woman crumbles just because another guy gives her attention. 
there it's are. always something lacking from the actual relationship that make her be like you know what he isn't he hasn't taken me out in right. six months he don't tell me i'm beautiful he don't cuddle me no more mm-hmm. and here this nigga he want to take me to roof chris you know he he came by the job dropped me off some flowers just he's because showing you affection. he's showing you affection he's giving right. you what your relationship is not providing so you're like you know what right fuck it no i, I agree with that i agree with uh, her statement how niggas don't catch feelings the way women catch feelings. i agree yeah and then um i found it interesting when she said that it's not natural for men to go through women's phones um i'm sorry i disagree with that and the only reason why I say I disagree mm. with it, okay, maybe the older d- generation, when I say that, maybe the generation before my generation didn't go through phones because, right. you know, cell phones weren't the really big. There's a lot of people that are just like, you know, um, your phone's your business, da 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 da. But this generation, right. bruh, it's a lot of, excuse me, emotional men in this generation. And I'm not saying it as. Whoa. Like, I'm not saying Whoa. it like this. We're going there. We are going there. Alright. All right, we're going there. It's a lot of emotional men and there's nothing wrong with that. You like yeah. I feel like people say like emotional means that they're weak. That doesn't mean that. No. Because your emotion doesn't mean they're weak. It right. means that you're being ver- more verbal about your emotions and it's coming off hella sensitive. Right. Hella I don't know. It just it does. It's not coming off. I hate to say it. It's not coming off masculine. And I know that mm. sounds really bad, but it's just like before. You know, it was like you know, hey, hey, uh, you want to do this with me? I don't, I don't care. You know, it was like y'all weren't interested in the same things we were really interested in, which helped us have our own things to do, right? Right, right? I wasn't interested in playing video games with you. It was boys thing. Boy, y'all, y'all play video games. Right. I go upstairs and. And and you know do whatever I want in my my space or whatever. Right now that that line's getting a little blurred. Now we're both playing video games mm. and we're doing. It's not saying that's a problem, but it's like the not to say the gender activities are meshing, but they are. If that makes sense. I think the gender roles are evolving. They're evolving, but I wouldn't con- consider it like roles, like the actual roles. I mean, maybe evolving. not even evolving, but. Um, Dis- blending and disappearing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's why I said meshing. Yeah, meshing. I agree. I yeah, agree. I agree with that. Yeah. But back to what I was saying, like I feel like that a lot of men are a little bit more verbal and more sensitive, and they are more um, knowledgeable about their feelings. So if they We've feel been to therapy, they've been to therapy, which is again nothing wrong with right. anything that I'm saying. I'm just saying that it's a different from the man in 2021 mm-hmm. than the man that you may have met in 2011. Right. And then also, I think a lot of people feel that like the role of a man, mm-hmm. quote unquote, is stemming from like their fathers who yeah, grew up in the 60s and always. 70s when women weren't allowed to work. All right. And, you know, Papa was a Rolling Stone or dad provided. Yeah. So now it's kind of a more of a team effort, which is still controversy. Did you hear about that controversy where um, we'll talk about it later? OK, but uh, did you see that thing on Instagram? They want the verses between Ayala and Kevin Samuels. No, I, <laughs> I want that verses. I think Ayala put that nigga in this place. Like, Probably. Yeah, 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 but oh man, this is so complicated. Like, I don't think that. Like I said, I don't agree with the whole. Um, you think that you're cheating, but you're actually cheating back. I don't. I don't agree with that. I, I do believe. I, I do agree that I think women are more sneakier, and I guess they want and get caught as much as men do. Mm-hmm. Cause men gets caught, like like she said, go through your phone, you're caught. Why are you keeping evidence in your phone? Like, I, well, didn't y'all learn about this in season two and cheating gems? <laughs> we'll I say. know, I got in trouble for that episode. I'm just letting y'all know right the fuck <laughs> now. I got in trouble. My phone is open. I, I'm not even allowed to have a code on my phone. So that episode, I did it for y'all, the sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> even though I ain't doing shit, so I ain't got shit to hide. But it's just like. Yeah. Back in the day, niggas. Yeah. I mean, niggas was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all jokes aside, um, there's obviously, like you said, men. Um, you heard it all the time when a guy cheat, it's physical. Yeah, it's yeah, not always. Trying to get yeah, trying to get a note off. But yeah. nowadays, it's not just physical. Like I said, it goes into the more they're more into in their feelings. They. Only thing it takes is for their, their, they feel like they can't be open with their girl or they can't right. vent to their woman. They vent to that 
co-worker or that friend that's from start. back in the day that's right. how it starts because she sees me she gets me she understands me yeah and but i think it's also like a and then physical of course but it, when, yeah. you, when you start tapping into that thing with this new generation mm -hmm. of understanding where they're coming from understanding yeah. their goals their motives how they feel after right. you know a family thing mm -hmm. and that opens up a door that people don't realize that like yo yo now you're mostly cheating like you've allowed this person to actually know your inner thoughts and your inner heart and how you feel how you feel about the person that you're with that too that's 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 different because it's kind of one of those things we you mentioned this like earlier early like earlier episodes where like if it's a situation where you're telling your family all this negative stuff about your your, your current situation mm -hmm. they're going to think negatively about them right. so you tell your coworker, or whoever you're talking to your side joint, all this negative stuff about you, they can be like, oh, well, fuck that nigga, well, fuck her. She ain't doing this, she ain't doing this, he right. ain't doing this, right. he ain't doing that. Right. So it's easier, it's easier for them to quote unquote manipulate you because well, you're you already been into it. Yeah, you're already been into them. Yeah. You're already been into them and you're already seeing what that person likes. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you heard mm -hmm. like um, some people who like they may have a baby mom and they're telling their girlfriend right. like, "Yo, you're different from my baby mom because my baby mom never did this." Da, da, da. Right. And you may not have never met the baby mom in your life, but because she's telling you his side, it comes off like that. she's this stereotypical baby mom that ain't shit. Right. When in reality, y'all just didn't work out. Period. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, is it's a ghetto ass tweet though. But it made sense to me. Oh. Okay, so here's the tweet. <laughs> this lady tweeted out like, I'd rather have three kids by three different niggas than three kids by one nigga because I get three different child support checks instead of just one, one lump sum from this one nigga. Trendy. I was like, That's I need, and then you're going, you're getting child support checks based off of three different incomes, yeah. not just this one income with three kids. That's childish. I was just like, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, but then either somebody responded was just like, "I'd rather have three kids by three different guys because, what if that first guy ain't shit? Now I got three kids with this guy ain't shit. But what the the first one ain't shit, the second one ain't shit, but the third one is something, and now I have a relationship with this third one. So it's all it, it's got a mess. It's got a all are horrible. You don't, you don't think so? No, I understand it. I'm not saying that it's <laughs> right. not um, comprehensible. Yeah. I, it makes sense in her eyes. What and makes I, sense I, to I you? The logic of three kids sense. with one guy, or three kids with three different guys. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Mm, for me, I would want the person to have the same father. Me personally, but um, that's just about like how I'm raised. I'm, I'm not right, supposed right. to get pregnant by everybody and they dad. You know, like who's <laughs> next? Mm, 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 who's next? Like you know, <laughs> right. nah. Mm. And then it, and for real, for real, and I don't care what nobody says, yeah, a situation could have happened and mm -hmm. something else could have happened, but anything more than two baby daddies, people looking at you sideways. Yeah. Anything more than two. That's true. I feel like when you be like, damn, you have three baby daddies, it's like, mm -hmm. God damn. Well, the third one is their husband. No, that's different. But yeah. baby dad is different from like, hey, True. you know, when you can say I have um three baby dads, you don't, they don't say it like that. They be like, right. yeah, I have two, I have three kids, I have um, two kids with two different baby, and then I have my husband. Mm -hmm. Like it don't sound too bad when you like, oh, and I'm married now. Right, right. But when right. you just like, oh yeah, I got three baby dads. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Then you like, oh yeah, I got three yeah. baby daddies. It's like, bruh, okay, <laughs> Felicia. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> come on. And then Someone's those be the ones, and, uh, and, then that's, and then you know they joke about it. And they're like, "That's the ones who have the highest standards." Like, you can't hit this yet. Why not everybody else? Right? Why, why you want to get all holy when you date me? Oh, I used to irritate the fuck out of me. Oh, say what I'm saying. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Treat me like the rest of niggas. Just fuck, fuck me, leave me. But you know, that's the one I was saying. Let's <laughs> go on a little end right there. All I don't right, right. Any more trouble? All but right. yeah, I don't. I don't. I I understand what just is saying. I get it, but. Yeah. I think it's more so of we we're going through the phones and we're going through because we are already subconscious of uh, some women are already subconscious of the things mm -hmm. that they're doing so yeah. or or they have their own insecurities from past relationships that they think that they see red flags of what their current partner is doing it's right. always a reason why we do something yeah I mean there are some people that are just crazy yeah. I mean you know like Jocelyn 
Like she's crazy. That oh, lady's yeah. crazy. What you coughing for? Cause I got a cough, bitch. Have you seen it on the Zeus Network? Yeah. Oh my god, this lady's crazy. It's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah. It's a, a rare cases, but outside of that, hmm, nah. Alright, cool, 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 cool. We gonna get you guys' opinion on that one. And they got one more story. Okay. Okay. V sent me this one. It's called Level Up. Oh no, that's my story. I'm gonna tell you about that story. Oh, you got, it. You yeah. got the audio up? You want me to play it? Yeah, I got it. All right, cool. So guys, before we I play this, y'all, I want you to hear because I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Uh, it's a part that I want to stop at. Okay. Um, this girl like blew me. When I, you <laughs> understand the, the terminology, she literally got on my nerves. All right, so here we go. A guy get me a Benz before and put me in a law of space and you know set my whole life up differently than what it was normally and i feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out but we're still friends you know we don't we didn't have beef and no one cheated it was just didn't work out um but i still i, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out i wasn't going to give him back my car because i'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together and i just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then what's the difference now you know what i mean you were my girlfriend i was fucking you yeah but i just i was fucking i you. just feel yeah but i personally feel like no i'm not yeah, moving but see, but see what he did was this though he gave you the upgrade but part of that upgrade is because you're with me yeah you understand so so let me just go to so we didn't work out me and you didn't you feel me so i'm supposed to keep paying your love and keep paying your bills now i get it you're a true boss if you do that and that's the the vibe we're getting, but yeah. no, it's just I'm not moving. You're not, you, you're gonna have to deal with it either way. You have to deal with me. If not, go see what's out there. Oh, so then that. So then, if that's the case, so yeah. you want me to stay with you for these items and use you, basically? Not for them. If you well, want to live like this, it comes with being with me. Okay. So, so then, so then you would prefer a woman to just stay with you for her items and her lifestyle. My lifestyle is now contingent. My current new lifestyle that you upgraded me to is now contingent on me being in a relationship with you, and that's the only way I can have it in this moment. Then what then stops should, me from just staying with then you then for then that? Then you want him. All right, so I agree with the verb by the end. The you. truth. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called, shout out to Hollywood Unlocked. Um, this is called Level Up. This is dating <laughs> rich and breaking up a uh, segment, mm. and um, I think she's like Spanish or something. And yeah, of course everybody went in on the comments, but um. Mm. Mm. <sighs> so what, what part do we want to attack first? This hit my soul. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not on the level. I've never been able, to, I mean, I've never dated somebody on that level to be like, I'm going to buy you a condo and a Mercedes right, right, Benz right, right. and you're my woman and boom. Ain't no way I'm going to let fuck that up. That's just me. If that was me back in my soon days, ain't no way this nigga mm -hmm. going to put me in a condo, buy me a Mercedes and we don't work out. Or but she, she messed up the game. I feel like she messed up the game. She didn't play, so role. She didn't play it right. And I'm yeah. not even saying in the role of like, you know, mm -hmm. making sure he's sexed up and making sure he's fed. I'm not even talking about that role. She should have played the game well and found out a way to get a bag to sustain the condo and the Mercedes. So mm -hmm. if it did not work out, she could keep her property. Because that condo. No, no, no. Because the condo is in her name. The, oh, the, the, Mercedes, the Mercedes is in his, I mean, in her name, but he was paying it. Oh. Yeah, because it can't be hers. It's not hers unless her name's on it, obviously. Right. Right. So. Okay. She that changes is, things. Right. So that's why I'm like, this is where you fumbled the bag. Right. He obviously has some connects where he's doing really well or whatever. I don't care if he was a realtor. I don't care if he was like a... um podcaster a podcaster or 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 you as a um a, a producer or something you yeah. should have met somebody in the industry right friend foe or whatever so just in case mm -hmm. you don't make it home tonight <laughs> no, i'm just playing but just in case <clears throat> didn't work out you can still get those checks because condos i don't know where they at i'm pretty sure it's like california or atl somewhere yeah. somewhere <laughs> it's always like it's always those two places california atlanta or whatever Right. That shit ain't cheap. And you went from, he bought you, like you said, he elevated you. Mm. And it's well, not like that ended on bad, bad terms, but she's still expecting this man to pay that ticket, that, 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 you know, that check when it comes. Mm. Like, make it make sense, will you? Make it make sense. Make it make sense, sis. Basically. <laughs> so, how you feel about it? I'm drinking my drink. I, she I, I don't agree with the guy. Uh, I agree with the, what the dude said. Like, you looking for marriage. Like, at the end of the day, like, 
She's not looking for marriage. She's looking for. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But uh, at the end of the day, like, if I'm financing this lifestyle for you, hypothetically, and we break up, yeah, I'm out. Like, I don't have to finance that lifestyle for you because the only reason I was doing it is because you were with me. Right. Now that I'm not with you, you expect me to continue it? Why you want me to pay for a condo for you to fuck another nigga in? You want me to pay for a car that you can fuck another nigga in? Another nigga could drive? You got me all the way fucked up. Like, when I'm gone, everything's gone. Yeah. Finances included. Now, instead of you being, you out here being ungrateful, that leveled you up to where you could have a condo and not a bedroom in your mother's house. You know what I'm saying? Or not catching the bus and you got a Mercedes. You know, you being ungrateful talking about you got to do all this shit. You should have figured out a way for you to sustain stuff if you decide to break up with me for whatever fucking reason. Where's your backup plan? That's what I'm saying. Where's your job? Get a job. I think for me, it's like, um, I think she missed, she missed, she thought that he was going to just keep on paying stuff. That somebody spoiled her, and that's where it goes to, let's go back all the way to the beginning. And she looks young, to be honest, so I get how she felt in that track. Maybe, maybe. Mid-twenties. Yeah, later twenties. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, um, because you know, with some Spanish people, you really can't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really yeah. can't, all jokes aside. It's the black in them. Basically. Um, but <laughs> listen, no, for real though, I think it actually goes back to like who spoiled her when she was a kid. Someone spoiled her where, yeah. like I said, she maybe may, could have stayed at her mom's house for yeah. as long or whatever. Or her right. dad probably spoiled her and gave her all this stuff. So when she got this, the, I'm not going to say sugar daddy, but let's say she got her her, her golden right. ticket. Instead of her, when she got to her, her set destination, instead of her stacking up, mm -hmm. she decided to just live in the moment. Which it's nothing wrong living in a moment, but you gotta have a plan B, C, and D, because That's true too. unfortunately, and I'm not I don't know what race this guy was that she was dating. Right. People change. Yep. You know, true. he could be like, you know what, I ain't dealing with this. She could have got jealous. It could have been done. None. They, they said I want they, you to leave your wife. Whatever it don't is, it, whatever it is. Right. She. You, I'm not gonna say she fumbled a bag because everything happens for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. But you should have been smarter. Ain't no way I'm getting a condo. I got all my stuff in there. And I got a Mercedes Benz, and I'm gonna. Even if we don't work out, there's no way I'm not gonna have a plan B that I didn't make sure I had my own ducats in a row. Right. Ain't no way. Because apparently he didn't pay the condo off. It's in your name, and he, you complaining. You still you know gotta pay a bill, and you and you expecting. And right. then the part that got to get me is like the part where she tried to like reverse it back on him. She was like, so you want me to stay? He was like, yeah. So go ahead and get out of stuff. He's not obligated to still pay for stuff for you. Um, if y'all not together, right. so she's like, "Well, do you want me to just stay with you for the monetary things, the materialistic things, yes. and that comes off that way?" Yes. You want them to stay with you because of that? That just yes. makes sense. I'm using you. Okay. I'm about to break it down. I'm about to break it down. Okay. Single, J single Willis is speaking right now. Single. If I was single. I heard you the first time. Okay. I feel personally that. If I'm a guy that's single and I'm out here, sugar daddy, cool, mm -hmm. cool. I'm buying you all this stuff and taking care of you because I'm wasting your time. Like you're not like gonna the girl get said, because she's he's fucking you. That's why he's yeah. yeah you. I'm wasting your time. You're not gonna get a relationship out of me. You're not gonna get none of this. I want to have sex with you whenever I want to, and I understand that comes at a cost. Mm -hmm. Now, that cost can be financing a condo or buying you a car. I'm fine with that. But when you start catching feelings and want to change the terms of our agreements, that's when we have a disagreement. So, time plus co um, time equals cost. This is a trait. But it's when someone who always happens catch feelings, all of a sudden mm -hmm. you want to change things. I want a relationship. I want you to get married. I want you to leave this person. I want this. I want this. I want this. This is not what we agreed upon at the beginning of it. I get you what you want. You're happy. I can have sex with you ever want. Like, that's the agreement. Mm -hmm. So, now that you're breaking these terms or you're, you're getting mad because I won't finance this because what's the benefit? There is none. There is none. Now, here's, here's something I would have probably liked to have heard her say, or probably she, she, she okay. could have worked out. She could have been like, let's say this guy name is Daniel, just for shits and giggles. Okay. Hey, Daniel, um, since we're no longer together, I'm not going to 
assume that you're going to keep on paying my bills but could you give me three months to find other means so i can keep my payments to keep the condo and the the car that you bought me i don't want to seem like i'm a leech or anything from you but i do need time to transition because this is the lifestyle that i have now i feel like that could have gave them an opportunity that could have gave her opportunity to see yeah. if he didn't care about keep paying on the yeah. bills and then that also would have gave her a time frame to be like yo i need to get on my grind in the next three months i only have three months mm. cushion to be able to keep these the finer things in life she's not working for shit she got used to not working for shit. right you know what i just realized when you just said that mm. daniel cool, cool. right put her in a position where she needed him and depended on him because he could have bought that condo in his name and just let her stay there or kick her out he could buy that car in, in his name and probably paid both of those off but i'm about to create these monthly bills for you to where you need me to pay these bills i'm making you dependent on me that's mm -hmm. very manipulative mm -hmm. and now that's why she's mad because she didn't see that coming i don't even know if she's mad i think she just she's full no, she sounds spoiled. Okay. She's, I mean, like, she doesn't sound mad because it doesn't. The way she's talking doesn't sound like he already told her to get out. She's saying. It's her name. I can't tell you to get out. I may have been paying him twelve hundred dollars a month, but guess what? Now it's your twelve hundred dollars a month because you don't want to fuck with me. Not for no condo, up there. I mean, I don't know. We don't know where they at. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, it's like it's really interesting how people yeah. are like they just have this, this mindset that they're entitled to these things Facts. just because you started off i i wish i wish a nigga would <laughs> i'm entitled can you imagine some some girl coming to you i'm entitled to still get dick from you even though we're not together um mm -hmm. for until i find new dick and then Facts. like who said who does that no nah. nobody does that but i, I feel like my ex better not call me for nothing Facts. But even like a caveat, like I feel like men try to control women with money. And the reality of it is like some women don't need you for your money. Some like, women do. That's my thing though. You can't blame the man for manipulating the woman with the money when that's what the woman was attracted to. She, it's no way. It's Ooh. like, like it's, it's, it's not a one way street. That's a two way street. She knew she that, that was that she wanted a guy with money. She knew, and that's what it goes mm -hmm. with the guy at the end. He was like, well, you want to be, you need to be married to this guy. You will, you want to be right. in this lifestyle. Right. You can't expect to be in that lifestyle and be not with that person. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just the reality of it. I can't expect to be around all of these artists and all this other these singers and stuff just because I was dating with a producer. But then when I stopped dating the producer. I expect to still be in that circle. Facts. And what you call it? The only reason why I was nice to you because you was with so and so. Yeah. I was just kicking it because you were there, but you're not yeah. in the circle no more, so bye. Heck, facts. Like, you're not with the cool kids anymore, shorty. Right. I, and then the fact that she just thinks that he still should do this, that, and the third, it's just, it baffles me. Mm. But I don't like people making it seem like the guy is at fault. Like, he manipulated her, put in her name, da 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 da. Because at the end of the day, she was there signing paperwork. She yeah. could have been like, I think that this is too much. I will stay here. You know, that's what I said. She didn't have no plan B. She could have been like, look, I'll pay you at least half of the thing. Yeah. Well, put it in our name. Or whenever that she one. gets money, just put some stuff to the side. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you, like, I don't know. Do you even work, Shorty? Apparently not. I don't know. I don't know. But she made it seem like, you know. I'm like, sure if I go to Instagram, she's selling 50. I'm not Fenty. <laughs> Goodbye. Fenty. Oh. <laughs> not Fenty. Nobody even take that Fenty shirt. Oh, crap waist anymore. trainers. She might be uh, a Fenty ambassador. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I mean, she could be a, um, an internet ambassador somewhere, a right. influencer somewhere. Right. Could be in that condo at that with the views and everything. But I'm Where just saying. Like? I'm just saying. You got to have a good. And I say this too all women of all colors you got to have a backup plan we already know that we're not always created equal right Fact. and then the fact that you're dependent on a man no matter what situation it is it comes off like you're auto like always dependent on somebody like yeah. you can't do it by yourself yeah. and the only you're doing is setting back your how people view you Fact. because of a situation like this i yeah. mean you got to level up you know who levels up Lori harvey Ooh. levels up that's not fair. Your daddy Steve Harvey. Your stepdaddy Steve Harvey. I mean, even before that, like I never heard of Lori Harvey until she started being in those crowds. That was 
You heard I don't about think Steve. you can control Lori Harvey with money because your, your you stepdad is fucking Steve Harvey. That it's is true. Different. That is true. But my thing is, you wouldn't have heard about Lori Harvey if it wasn't for the services she was in. That's true. You wouldn't. That's have, true. It would have been like, oh, that's that's one of his kids. It wouldn't have been nothing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't have heard. You wouldn't have heard. You really, really cared about Ti's daughter until you found out he was checking her damn hymen. Yeah. You these these kids and these people in the alumni wouldn't even. You wouldn't even know about them or yeah. really care about them unless they were in certain circles or they were producing their own content or something like that. So with this case, I'm like, you, you got to do something for yourself to keep yourself either in those same circles or keep your money at that same level, if yeah. not even more. And, but, you know, another thing that's kind of not fair to compare them, Lori Harvey, look at her mother. Her mother bad as fuck, and look what she did and what she got. Yep. Lori's learning from the best. Yes, she is. So Lori's, that's why she's moving the way she's moving. I saw this funny uh, podcast I was listening to. They was like, yo, how many times have you ever heard Lori Harvey speak? Do you know what her voice is? Never. Exactly. Never. She knows how to move out here. Yeah. She's the dangerous one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it for our drunk shorts. Um, should we post this and get questions or yes or no? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll Alright, we'll post this on our Instagram. And um yeah, that's it for our drunk shorts. And why don't you go ahead and tell them where they can find us, Willis? You can find us on you can YouTube. Find like and subscribe. Um, like rate and subscribe. Facts. Comment. We'll Ooh. comment back. Yes. Um, you can find us on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, Castbox, Pandora, Google Podcasts, Google us, period. We're there. You can find us. And we're on uh, Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram at Joke for Friends with a Z. Um, no spaces. Also, we're on Clubhouse, DWF Podcast. Follow us. And you can email us at DW friends with a Z at gmail.com. Gmail. I forgot how to use email. So I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, follow us, interact with us if you want to be a guest, if you want to come on. We can do Zoom, we can do whatever. You can do in person if you're in the DMV area. Just holler at the show. Yes, please. Please, yeah. please, please, please. So do. let's take these shots. All right, guys. All right. And we'll see you guys next week. Next week. Mm.